REZ 2024-08. This is River Road, located at 4374 River Road. This involves 15 acres. It's currently R21. The request is for a PD, and it will be served by county utilities. Mr. Dillard. Yes, sir, thank you. As requested, uh, the applicant is proposing a planned development of approximately 53 residential units, uh, 54 total lots here, including green space. In 2022, you'll recall this property was requested to go to RA zoning, but was ultimately denied by the commission three to at that time. Future land to fix it as within the urban service area and suburban character area. It does have access along River Road. And you'll notice that the only wetlands on the property are the very southern portion as it leads down to Hickory Branch. You'll also notice that the property significantly falls off from River Road, approximately 37 feet overall. Now, the TRC did analyze the request. Uh, the standards governing zoning power set forth in 10.105 of the ULDC, and the fact that most relevant, as noted here, including the rural residential character of the area, the existing low density land pattern, the availability of county utilities, the topography of the subject property, and the proposed site plan, and recommended the following approval with conditions, as noted in your packet here. Duplexes are not allowed. The side yard setbacks on all lots are eight feet. Lots 42 and 54, access from the western property line only. When dwellings are within 16 feet of each other, fences are not allowed to be constructed in the side yards between them. Accessory structures allowed per lot, no more than two structures, totaling no more than 400 square feet combined, located in the rear yard only, and no less than five feet from the side and rear property lines. Landscaping and buffering consistent with ULDC section 407, a landscape buffer, a minimum of four shade trees for 100 linear feet shall be planted around the north, east, and west exterior boundaries and the western lot line of lot 55. That's the interior green space. There shall also be no on-street parking allowed. The Planning Commission heard this request at their meeting and had considerable discussions regarding the site plan and conditions proposed and recommended approval with modified conditions, particularly of condition two that spoke to side yard setbacks being six feet and clarifying condition four, that when the dwellings are within 16 feet of each other, fences may be constructed in the side yard if they begin and extend out from the rear corner of the building. So, again, this is a history of other properties in Lowndes County that have been rezoned with similar setbacks, property sizes. Again, these are just some preliminary plat notes. You know, number seven regarding setbacks here. And again, more preliminary plat notes. You notice the proposed lot size here on the bottom, 1,200 to 1,500 square feet with one or two car garages. And then again, the total number of lots to be proposed. With that being said, you can note the conditions here that the TRC recommended and the Planning Commission. And again, the difference of condition two and four. And again, the TRC had additional considerations regarding lot size, interconnectivity, uh, off-street parking, things like that that weren't shown on the site plan themselves. But with that being said, the overall site plan as presented here was recommended with approval of the conditions modified 7 to 1. Any questions for Mr. Dill? Okay, I'll open up the public hearing portion of the meeting. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone that would like to speak in opposition? Hearing none, is there anyone that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Good afternoon. I'm J.D. Yeager, 50% uh, owner of building by Austin. Awesome. My address is 5427 Sickle Moor Road in AI. Uh, the, only, the only thing I, I really want to do is answer any questions you got, but the two statements. Uh, we are trying to build affordable housing. There are many, many people out here paying 12, 14, 16, 18 hundred dollars a month to rent an apartment that don't want to but they can't find a house to buy. Your young airmen that move, your bottom level employees that are coming in for the, for the Walmart dairy, our glass, all the industry that we're bringing in, we need that, we want that. They don't have any place to live because they can't afford it. So we're trying to develop that. Um, the only dissenter at the Planning Commission was about the setbacks because he said that we couldn't get fire trucks between the house. I have yet to 
you see a fire truck go between the houses in Nelson Hill or any other subdivision in this county. Um, the only other question is privacy fences. You can't build a house on that size lot without putting the privacy fence across every backyard. And we agree that the back corners is where it should start. Uh, we, we've never wanted to put houses or, or privacy fences between those houses. We've also had some conversation and um, we, will, we will agree for access purposes for the fire department such as that, that we're going to put all the AC units, outside units, on the back side of the house. They, they want to be on the sides of the house to create that additional four feet of, um, of block space. So you got 12 feet that you'll be able to get between the house at a six foot setback. Um, we also want to put a house on it that is within the $250,000 price range. So people can afford to buy those houses. They can't buy these with the $500,000 that we've been having to build. But we don't want to put a cracker box on, this, on these things either. And with eight foot side setbacks, then that diminishes our ability to build a house and have enough square footage to have something that people can enjoy living in. The, the six foot side, side setbacks with the front and rear setbacks that we have will allow us to build 14, 1500 square feet. I'll answer any questions. Any, the, any questions? What are the sales prices expected to be? We're hoping to be in the 250. Hey, is that affordable housing? 250. I've been out of the housing market for years. Well, I'll tell you this because Clint did this research for the Planning Commission. He researched from South Dasher, east and west, to the county line on the north end of town. $250,000 market. There are five new constructions in the entire county. And those are under construction. If it's there, it flows off the market before you can get it built. So that's the affordable. The 250 is where the 150 used to be. I had a question just uh, pertaining to uh, the siding. Um, are we looking at concrete siding? No, sir. We look at bottom siding. Um, I left the, uh, the location a few minutes ago. Uh, the individual that lived in on that one acre lot expressed the concerns and would uh, like for you all to put a fence somewhat bordering her, I guess, so she wouldn't have to be. Now, uh, are you talking about on the Campbell side or, or are you talking about on the opposite? But, well, it doesn't matter, Marcus, because every backyard will have a privacy. Well, oh, not the backyard, on oh, river side. On the river road side? River road side, there's a trailer uh, or one acre lot. Next to the house? That yes. The driveway divides That's the trailer correct. house? Yes, she right. wanted to divide it of some sort because it's a bus stop uh, there each morning. And I guess the uh, assumption is that once the subdivision is put in, of course, that will still remain as a bus stop. But I'm still, I believe that's going to be back. The back door of, of the houses are going to back up to our lot line right there or from over home, so there'll be a privacy fence all the way across. It's going to be, so it's going to be a privacy fence across the back yeah. of her home. That's what that's basically what was asking. Can we see that land? All right. All right. I know that. Um, this one, sir? Yeah, thank you. Yes. All right, so where are we going to go from Mr. Marshall? Where he's talking about, Scotty, is if you're looking at it where it comes in from River Road, it would be the, the first lot right there um, on the right-hand side of the entryway going in from River Road. What number lot? Well, I, it, don't have a, it don't have a lot number on her property. Hers is in white, and it's got a, what's that, a B5? Can you pull it closer, uh, Aaron? I guess we right can there. see River Road. Right. That would be that lot line. <coughs> yes. So it would be in the backyard of those two houses right there. So those two houses will have privacy fences right there. Okay. For sure. Okay. Any other questions? All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this request? All right, hearing none, I'll close the public hearing portion of the meeting, and commissioners, I'll turn it back over to you for your consideration. Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the rezoning request with the GLPC uh, conditions. Mr. 
with the GLPC conditions. Yes, sir. Okay. We have a motion then to approve the request with the uh, GLPC conditions. Are there any of the additional considerations you'd like to consider? Or are you good with just that? I'm good with just that. Okay. All right, we have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. A show of hands. All in favor, signify by aye. Or mm -hmm. raise your hand, please. All right, it's unanimous. 